much. That's how you do it, right? That's how you do it. Well, hello world, it's Old Guy Moto Freaking, and it is race weekend. We are out at the Davis Ranch in Kilgore, Texas. Texas Cross Country Racing Association Race 4509. And it's practice day. We get a day before the race to check out the track, and we are checking out some of the more extreme enduro stuff. Saves quite a bit off your lap if you can manage it through these sections on the race day tomorrow so uh, anyway we're out practicing checking out some of those areas and uh, let's check it out climb I was mentioning and it's uh well yeah it's pretty steep there's about three or four main lines that go up it but then you can deviate all kinds of different ways once you get up about halfway but Almost. as you can see it's pretty steep and uh not the easiest climb uh ground is super sandy and loose as well um so it's pretty tough to get any serious traction but uh I'm doing my best here good example here of some of the ruts that we had to deal with. Uh, this was just on practice day and this eventually became pretty impassable but yeah the trick is is there's no backing up here. There's literally maybe one foot at the base and then you just got a ledge on each side. So I dropped in and spilled and had to figure out how to crawl out of there. Here's another try up the hill climb, a little bit different path and not quite able to make it again. get this ball rolling. We're checking in and going to get right, this race you. started. I had a fantastic start, got off in second, and just couldn't uh, keep it, basically. I lost uh, way too much time making mistakes, and in this game, seconds really do matter, so let's check out the start.
So right there, you saw me grab my goggles. Believe it or not, I started the race without my helmet strap on. I know, what a jackass thing to do, but I didn't want to lose second position, so I just decided to ride without my helmet strap. So you'll notice I just reached my hand up, and you're gonna see it a lot more where my hand kind of comes up to grab my goggles, because the goggles are slipping down in front of my face and my eyes a little bit and I can't see very well and I keep trying to push them up not knowing really what's going on and believe it or not it takes a while you'll see later in the race I eventually stop and check but my goggle strap on top of this had fallen below the base of my helmet so my goggles kept pulling down over my eyes pretty much a good part of the race again Later in the race, you'll see I stop at one point and, you know, my, uh, just my goggle strap and it kind of fixes things for me. But what a huge mistake. This really, really it made me take my hands off the bike handlebars uh, throughout the whole race. You know, there were so many times where I just had to, felt like I had to either reach up and adjust my goggles because I just was blocking my vision. So, Anyway, huge mistake, can't believe I did that, and um, it was definitely costly. You know, this is a gain of seconds, and every second matters, and you'll see uh, with all the crashes that I have uh, throughout the race, and then I try a uh, stream uh, technical area, I guess, um, stream enduro, I guess is what you'd call that. You'll see that, and uh, you know I don't quite make it through there, trying to save some time off. So anyway, I'll shut up for a minute and let's check out the race. Another example where uh, you know I just make a little mistake, don't quite get over this ledge and tangle up, and here we go. I lost uh, all the time I just made up catching up the first place, and uh, we just got to push ahead now. I got to make up more time in the woods. So I mean, this whole first second, you know, seconds matter. I should say concept is like super super important. The difference in race time. Uh, the top four people in this race was literally six seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and like eight seconds. I mean, that's how close we were in terms of total time all averaged out. So, I mean, if you shave off a minute, 
I would have been in first place. And I certainly messed up enough to where I lost for well over a minute of time just making mistakes, picking the bike up, um, and whatnot. So anyway, I'm going to shut up. Let's check it out. I just got passed by third place. He just moved up in the second, and uh, he's going to make a mistake up here. I'm going to get back around him uh, in a little bit, but ultimately he gets first place in the race. So uh, that's Terry. He's fast. He's been getting first place quite a bit, and uh, he's been riding real consistent. So um, you know, a good example. I took that turn wide and. Found a little short hole and there you go, got stuck on a log and I come back around him, I make another mistake and Terry gets back around me again and eventually he's going to get back up in front of second place and we're all going to be playing Chase Terry today. Another challenge is once you do get uh, behind slower riders and your person you're trying to pass has uh, already gotten around them, you know, you get in these woods, it's just real tight and tough to get around these guys and pass them. I have got to get way more aggressive on this. Um, you know, while I'm trying to get around the guy that's going a little slower, uh, I've got the guy in front of me I'm trying to catch, he's making up time on me. So, um, I've just got to get a lot better at getting around the slower riders, and uh, I don't know if that's making engine sounds or what, but, uh, yeah, lesson learned, race 4509. Okay, so after that last mistake here, I finally catch up to second place. I think this is Dan Olson, I believe. And um, yeah, we're uh, going at it here in the opens. I'm trying to catch up some time in the straightaways and improve my speed, opening up the bike, getting a little more throttle on, and uh, trying to get around him. So. We run into a pretty big snaggle up here, and Dan, I am so glad uh, you didn't get seriously hurt here. And, uh, we ran into each other pretty good, so anyway, y'all watch this and uh, check it out. Oh, grabbing those damn goggles again. <laughs> I just can't see half this damn race. Steve Sprong, he uh, gets a uh, past me, 
uh, comes up from behind and out throttles me into the woods. So, uh, well done, Steve. Uh, Steve ends up getting third place just before me. Um, and, uh, yeah, back to the race. So Steve and I are going pretty toe to toe. Uh, good part of the race here. Uh, Steve was really keeping a great pace, and uh, we were just uh, going at it. Um, he does eventually make a mistake up here, and I get back around him, and um, he will do that again to me before the race is over. So anyway, I uh, really like racing against Steve. He's got a great pace, and. Um, yeah, great race you yeah, had there, Steve. So now I'm around Steve, uh, I'm back in the second place, and we're going after Terry Harmon. So Terry's way ahead of me. He's uh, really extended out his lead, and uh, it's going to be pretty hard pressed to try and catch him. But I'm going to give it my best uh, while I uh, adjust my goggles and <laughs> loose helmet strap. So. <laughs> Anyway, let's check this out.
And so at this point, I'm thinking I can get in first place if I take the technical course and Terry takes the long way. So I basically get through the first part pretty good, but um, I lose goggles and everything. I don't know what's going on. I get have a little trouble getting over the first uh, concrete uh, pipe here and throw it off course and then I decide to stop. I cut a little section out here, but I actually stopped so I had to go a good time to strap my helmet strap. And um, still haven't figured out what the goggle issue is yet at this point. But get my helmet strapped, and I take a whirl at getting over these tires and don't quite make it the first time. So don't have enough momentum. And uh, anyway, it takes a couple of tries, but I eventually get over here. And I think all in all, I probably lost at least a good minute um, dealing with my helmet strap and um, all that stuff. So anyway, uh, let's get back to the race. That's the point I realized the goggle strap dropped below the helmet in the back and that's why it's pulling it down over my eyes. So got that fixed. Shit, I'm halfway through the race. I've lost a ton of time. Just now got my helmet right and uh, yeah, I'm gonna run out of gas here pretty soon. Uh, I'm trying to push as hard as I can, but uh, I just wasn't ready uh, for this race apparently and just didn't have the energy to push through the third lap, third or fourth lap sometimes like we need to and uh, do what I needed to do and, uh, and as you know as you start getting tired all of a sudden you start making more and more mistakes so you'll see up here I start dropping the bike quite a bit and uh, yeah let's go check it out.
go. We're going to start the third lap. And as I was saying earlier, I just ran completely out of gas. Um, I wasn't hydrated enough. Tried to hydrate too quickly for the race. Um, and uh, you just can't do that. You can't hydrate race day or the day before race day. You got to come into the race weekend super hydrated, rested, and well fed. And I don't know if I was all those things. So I really had a super tough time here on the last lap. I just didn't feel like I had it in me to really do what I needed to do and open up the throttle and ride hard stay on the bike and of course whenever that happens you make a lot of mistakes there I go getting passed again and that is uh, uh, Steve coming back by me so um, I am not going to be able to catch him at this point um, I just don't have what it takes and bam there you go another mistake so uh, each mistake also psychologically just screws me up I mean it, you know, it just sucks you out. So, really best to just try and stay on the bike, be super consistent. Like, if you can ride a good steady pace, ride your race without any spills at all, generally you're going to probably be pretty damn good. Um, but, you know, if you fall a lot, all those seconds matter, wide turns, seconds matter, obstacle seconds matter, so you just got to ride a smart race, uh, Scott Pippen, I'm sorry, Greg Pippen, I don't know why I said Scott Pippen, but Greg Pippen, uh, he's an expert rider, and he gave me some advice before the race, because the experts raced before we did, he was like, ride smart, don't do the obstacles, just ride your race, ride smart, you'll do really well. Well, I pretty much listened to him with the exception of the one obstacle I took, and there you go. Greg knows what he's talking about. Picking the bike up every time, expending energy I don't need to be spending if I could just keep my feet on the pegs and keep riding. So, uh, a lot to be said for consistency, and uh, I know I beat that into the ground on this video, but uh, it's everything. Uh, stay on the bike, ride steady, ride smooth, uh, ride smart. Uh, you'll do pretty well in these races, especially amateur events like uh, like I ride in. So back to the race.
Ah. Coming into the home stretch, and I'm just trying to pass any motorcycle in front of me at this point. I'm pretty wiped out, but just uh, ready to be done with this race. Thanks for watching, old guy Moto Freaking. Uh, we really appreciate all the views. Ride hard, have fun, be safe. Good race. You killed it. Huh? You killed it. I ran out of gas, man. You just killed it. I couldn't keep up with you. I fell down at the first lap. I know. You caught me. Got a terrible race. I fell down three or four times. Got a great start. You and I were up front, I think.